Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, please hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So getting right into it, we will be doing some almond nails and these are from the Unigella um, brand. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I am using this specific brand like I mentioned in my previous video. I am slowly trying to switch all of my full cover nail tips to this specific brand just because I feel like they're very versatile. So I am just taking a buffer here and just buffing off the shine of the nails just because we will be doing some gel polish um, press on nails today. After I am done buffing the surface, I did go ahead and wipe down the nails with a lymph-free wipe and a little bit of alcohol. And then here I'm just taking my Beatles base gel and applying that to all the nails and then curing that for a full 30 seconds in the nail lamp. If you've seen by the thumbnail, we will be doing some pretty simple type of fallish type of nails. So this video isn't going to be super long, but I really do hope you guys enjoy it just because I feel like this nail set came out super cute and I just wanted to kind of take away from doing some Halloween type of nail sets just because I've been doing them a lot lately. So I didn't want to try to incorporate like a fall set here and there when I can. So for my base color, I will be using number 248 from Nailed by Naya. It's a very beautiful like type of nude sheer gel polish color. And I will be doing two coats of this color. So I am doing the first coat here and then I do cure for a full 30 seconds in the nail lamp. And then I do another coat and then I do cure that last coat for a full 60 seconds just to make sure everything is nicely cured. So getting into the nail art, I am just taking some blooming gel. This is from Beatles. I did get off at Amazon. I will try to remember to leave it linked down below. I highly recommend this blooming gel. It works super perfectly, which you will see here in just a little bit. So on the middle nail, I am applying a very thin layer of that to that nail. And then I'm just taking a dotting tool and some um, blue gel polish. This is from Blue Sky. It's called Blue Danube, I believe. That's how you pronounce it. And I am kind of creating like that bloomy flower type of trending design this is my first time trying it so i really felt like i had to get it perfect and thankfully this was my first and only time doing it on this specific set so i loved how it turned out but after i applied the dots to the nails i am just kind of letting it bloom out just a little bit and then i do go ahead and cure for 30 seconds now moving on to the other nails, I am applying my classic matte top coat from Kairos Nail Supply on top of the index nail and the ring nail and then curing that for 30 seconds. The reason I am applying some matte top coat is because we will be doing some chrome and I don't want it to stick to that gel polish. Now I will be using some rhinestone glue from Beatles and just taking my designated brush I have for like um, these type of specific 3D gel designs. And I will, I don't know exactly what this design is called, but I will just be kind of doing like an outlined frame type of thing going around this entire nail and then curing that for 30 seconds and doing the same exact thing on the index nail.
Now after those two nails are cured, I am taking my gold chrome with the little applicator and applying that on top of those little like framed type of design. I like I said, I don't know exactly what it's called, but I am applying that chrome powder on top of those um, 3D gel lines that we just did and then wiping away all the excess dust and that will be the final design for those two nails. So again, I will be doing the same exact process on that index nail and then I will be wiping away all the excess chrome powder. I do want to get some of those like makeup sponge wedge things to use for the chrome powders just because I feel like these little applicator things go by super fast like I only have one more left and I don't want to keep reusing them so I do want to invest in getting those like little makeup sponge things. I don't know exactly what they are called. I do not wear makeup, so I don't know like the technical terms for all that stuff, but I see creators on Instagram use those. Um, I think they're makeup sponge wedges, I believe is what they're called, to apply the chrome powder, so I do really want to get those. But back to my design, I am creating French tips on the pinky nail and the thumbnail using my 15mm liner brush in that same blue gel polish color from Blue Sky. I am doing that. So I did go ahead and kind of outline my smile line where I want the like French tip to be. And then I am just using my liner brush to infill that and then again doing the same exact process on that thumbnail. So here I'm just taking my McCart rhinestone glue and these little gold like beads from my flowers here and applying some of those gold beads into the center of the blooming gel flower that we created just to give it more design and depth of this nail. And then after I am done applying those beads to the nail, I do go ahead and cure for 30 seconds. So I was really struggling trying to figure out what else to add to the design just because I don't want it to be super basic. So I decided to add some like 3D type of outline on the French tip and then that gold chrome powder. So I will be showing you how I did the process of that on the thumbnail. So I did go ahead and apply some classic matte gel top coat, cured that for 60 seconds. And here I'm just outlining the smile line of this um, French tip using that 3D, I mean that rhinestone gel from Beatles. And then after I'm done outlining it, I do go ahead and cure for a full 30 seconds in the nail light. And then once that gel is done curing, I do just take the same gold chrome powder and apply it on top of that outline that we created underneath the French tip and then I wipe away all the excess dust using the opposite end of the applicator. Now this is what the nail set is looking like once everything is completely done. Like I said, I think this nail set came out super cute. It's very classy and just very simple. So getting into the top coating portion, I am just using the Beatles gel top coat and applying that onto all the nails. This is their shiny gel top coat. I don't recommend getting their matte gel top coat. The only reason why I don't recommend it is because I tried it once and the smell was just so awful. It kept giving me headaches and everything like that. And the consistency of it just wasn't that great. But maybe that was just a bad batch that I had, but I just didn't like it. And I don't recommend it if you're like very sensitive to certain smells or like strong smells that smell like chemical. That is just what that smell smelled like. But once I am done top coating, I do go ahead and put this in the light for a full 60 seconds to make sure that is completely cured.
But that is pretty much the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.